So howdy everybody, my name is Keith Warren. We're going hog hunting in South Texas in the middle of the summer. And to top it off, we're gonna be using handguns. South Texas, it can get hotter than all get out, especially in the summer. So joining me on this hunt is Tyler Tiller. Tyler's from Oregon. He's not used to heat like we're having right now in Texas. And uh, Tyler and I have gone on lots of adventures together, whether it's blacktail hunting, mule deer hunting. But on today's hunt, he's gonna be doing something he's never done before. And that's hunting using a handgun. All right, so uh, you've never done this before, right? Never. Handgun never hunting shot a dog. pistol with a red dot. Okay, never okay. hunted with a pistol. And this right here is dead on. So what we've got, we've got a feeder that's gonna be about 12, 15 yards away from you. Okay, so the hogs ought to be about that distance, but go ahead and take a shot at that target down there and just see, just squeeze that trigger, but you gotta hit them right, obviously. Right. And the, the brain on one is gonna be about the size of an egg. Okay. So what we're gonna wanna do is, I mean, if you can hit about the size of an egg, you're good. So okay. go for the center of that target and let's just see what you got. Nice. That's good, huh? See if we can do that again. Sweet. Should we send one more? Send one more. You're done. I'd feel sorry for a hog. All you gotta do, but it's it's shot placement, obviously. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go for the brain. Yep. Okay. That's good. Perfect. That's nice. I like that. And we got nice cool weather coming. That's right. <laughs> It'll be a hundred degrees at least. <laughs> we'll be melting. Yes, we will. So here's what's going on. Johnny and Tyler are about two miles away and I'm gonna be using a Glock. I'm loading up right now. I've got a feeder set up here at about 12, 15 yards. Kid, it's about 100 degrees in the shade, literally probably 120 degrees in this blind. I got the windows all open. The wind is blowing really nice. So we're gonna stay put and just see what happens. All we need is one to come over here. I keep hearing them, they're close. They're real close, and I know they're on the move because every time I hear them, they're getting closer and closer. That right there was a dinner bell. Hopefully, a hog will come in. I'm telling you, I've been sitting here sweating and sweating. All right, there's a hog right there. It's coming in. Oh, yeah. The wind is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's get down there and show you what a, a Glock does to a hog with a brain shot. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's probably about a hundred pound sow. Okay, it's June, middle of June, South Texas. I mean, it's hot. Well, you know, I got in here early, it was hot. Johnny and Tyler are a couple miles away and hopefully they're gonna have some luck and literally getting thousands and thousands of pictures. It's a, a, a hog rich environment. So we obviously had the right shot placement, got right there behind the ear. We got it on camera where you see the gun going off and the pig hitting the ground at the same time. So anyway, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get this guy loaded up and uh, head on over and meet up with Tyler and Johnny and kind of see how they did. But uh, so far, this hunt's working out pretty good. <laughs> for everybody but the hog. So we just got in the blind. We have a Glock pistol right here. This place is covered up in pigs. It's extremely hot. So now all we have to do is just sit here and wait for the pigs to show up. Oh my goodness, it is so hot in this blind. I thought it was hot when I got out of the airport coming here from Oregon. It was 54 degrees this morning when I left home. And I think it's getting close to 100. It's got to be over 100 in this mine and we are melting. So this is a card we pulled from a spot that's about half a mile down the road. All these pigs are coming in right about 7 o'clock down there. Lots and lots of pigs. So it tells us right here what time the pigs are going to be moving. Caught in the blind about 5 o'clock. That's perfect because it gives us time to come in here, settle down. These pigs will start moving about seven and it's really hot. So with any luck, they're gonna show up a little bit sooner. Pigs coming in right here. They're coming around. See that one on the side, to the right, no, not, not up to the board, to the board to the right, far right. The furthest one back. The furthest one to, the closest one to is this board right here. Far right, right between the eyes. Yeah, when you're ready, take your time. Oh, oh. Pig dead. 
down. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh. They came in so stinking close. They were that too was close. Sweet. That was oh, awesome. I got the shakes. That was so awesome. All right, we just got up here and recovered this pig. And man, this was a fun hunt. It was extremely hot and the pigs didn't come in until the last maybe half an hour of daylight. We were kind of wondering if uh, all that heat was gonna be worth it. So the pigs came in real close. This pig here just flipped over and it was pretty easy. Sitting there all by himself and hit him right between the eyes. I've killed a lot of pigs and I didn't think it would be that exciting hunting with a pistol. But getting up close and being right up there next to them and touching off with that pistol was really exciting. Got the adrenaline going. It was a lot of fun. As it was cooling off, we could hear Keith shoot down the way. And so we're gonna get this pig loaded up and we're gonna go see what Keith has. 